this emotion, anger, or, or in its small, small version, irritation, frustrations, are received a lot of judgments as if it's not good to be angry, if it is not good to be irritated, if it's not good to be frustrated, if it's not good to be impatient. And I feel very sad about it. For me, anger slash irritation, frustration is, it's a very, very beautiful emotion, very beautiful emotion. And the challenge with it is that it comes in a tragic package. And this is what I want to, in a way, unpack today. Right? It's a beautiful emotion that comes in a tragic package. And the tragic package is that anger, I can almost say 99% of the time when someone is angry, I already know that it comes with a very specific kind of thinking. And this thinking is that the other person did something wrong. Just think of an anger or irritation in your life at this moment. And notice the text in which it wants to come out. You, it's, it's, <laughs> or he, or she, or they. Something is wrong with them, which on a human level, it's extremely painful if somebody thinks that I did something wrong or that I'm wrong. And in my understanding, it's a lie. Like, no, I, I'm not God yet. I don't have the capacity to know what is good, right, <laughs> good, bad, right, or wrong. It's not in my capacity. We are constantly in the culture we grew up, in the language we learn how to speak our authenticity. We constantly lie. We constantly putting myself in the position as if I'm God, like to say to someone, yeah, yeah, like you're really selfish. You just think about yourself. Yeah, I put myself in the position of God of I know what is right and you are wrong. And in order to become a good citizen, you should change. Do you like when people tell you that something in you is inherently wrong and you should change in order to be welcome to society? It's inherently extremely painful and actually not true. That's what I mean with a tragic package. Anger comes in a tragic package, in a tragic form or in a tragic language. And anger is a very vulnerable emotion, very, very, very vulnerable emotion, but it needs a little bit of unpacking to get to the more vulnerable layers of it. And this is what I call peeling the onion of anger. Getting closer and closer to the core of what the anger, because anger, like all other emotion, which is the core of why I'm so trusting unpleasant feelings and all feelings, because all feelings are there to call my attention to take care of life. All feelings are, see, unpleasant feeling is a contraction in the body. It's kind of like, fuck it. It's a certain contraction that brings me closer to myself in order to protect something and care for life. You know, it's a little bit like, mother bear anyone saw a youtube of of a mother bear if you see a mother bear that is walking with her little sweetie bears you know she, the mother bear will do kind of you know a big anger kind of like Wah! and all these Wah! is because there are you know these sweet little bears did you see this clumsy little bear who are kind of like oh, i don't know how to climb all this anger is there to protect something very beautiful. See, anger, if, if I feel anger or irritation or frustration is because something is really important to me. Something is really beautiful here that I wanna care for and protect. 
And that's for me the beauty of anger. I love anger so much, so, so much. It's a, as an energy, it's a vertical line that is there to care for life. It's to stand for values. It's to stand for needs. And I love it as an energy that helps me to be very sharp and very firm and very clear. I want to protect life. I want to care for life. 